Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. I recently received an email from Roger who noticed that in some of my videos the toolbox was two columns wide as opposed to the default one column. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show how to use that option. I'm using version 10 for this video and I know it works the same for version 9. For earlier versions of Elements, it's a little different, but I know you can do it at least as far back as version 6. So look at the top of the toolbar and notice there are two horizontal dotted lines up here. Click and drag down on those lines to separate the toolbox from the options bar. Now notice the double arrows at the top of the toolbox. Just click on those arrows and the toolbar changes into two columns. Click on them again and it goes back to one column. Each time you click on the arrows it changes. Just be careful not to click on the little circle or the toolbar will completely go away. Let's actually do that because I want to show you if you do accidentally click on that you can always go up to the window menu and just click on tools and it, it will come back. Now to anchor it on the left like it was before click and drag by the top over towards the left and once it stops and kind of hits the left edge just keep holding your mouse down and dragging towards the left and eventually you'll see that slight blue line appear over on the left and then when you let go now you can see it's anchored over onto the left and up to the options bar and you can always get back to the one column default by pressing the reset panels button up here. So there you go, just a quick little lesson on how to get your tools into two columns. Until next time, this is Rick from Essential Photoshop Elements saying take care.